soldiers wish to run, then you... The Mayor's Council Room track is not a fugue, but in the opera I develop it into one. First, the orchestra plays it just like in the game. Theme A... And theme B... Then, the themes are given to the singers with some orchestral backing. Once we've gone through the themes twice, I give the main melody of theme A to the mayor, and an actual fugue begins. But first, I should explain what a fugue is. Put simply, a fugue is a composition that employs a rather strict set of rules for counterpoint. Counterpoint is a practice of writing different melodies that fit well together, played at the same time. I'm not exactly the most competent at fugal writing, but I thought it would fit this number well, given that a characteristic of fugues is that they feel like they go on and on and on, much like the argument does in the game. The word comes from the Latin fuga, related to both fugere and fugare, fleeing and chasing, hence the constant feeling of motion. A very basic rundown of the rules goes like this. You state a melody, which we call the subjects, on one voice. Once that melody ends, you give the same melody in a different key, which we call the answer, to a second voice. At the same time, the first voice immediately begins a counter subject, a different melody that fits with the answer being stated by the second voice. What happens after this depends on how many voices you want your fugue to have. The council fugue has three voices, so let's see how that goes. The mayor sings theme A as a subject. Then Mucho sings it as the answer, with a few tweaks here and there to fit his vocal range. While the mayor continues on to theme B as a counter subject. I can use theme B instead of coming up with a new one right away, since they fit so well, but then Weissen comes in. As a third voice, Weissen has to come in with the subject, so theme A back at its original key, just like the mayor at the start of the fugue. And Muto now has the counter subject in the same key as the answer. So what does the mayor sing? Counter subject 2. Which has to fit in with both the subject and counter subject 1 at the same time. Counter subject 2 is the first bit of my original writing in the number, as I have to take this somewhere now, instead of looping forever like in the game. Now, Technically, because I never reuse counter subject 2, it's called free counterpoint instead. But if I start going down this rabbit hole, I'll have to explain stuff like invertible counterpoint and other things which I don't even think I got right in this fugue anyway. So, moving on. This entire section from the beginning of the fugue until now is called the exposition. Everything after this is called the development, where you're basically free to do whatever you want, but should often call back to the subject and counter subject however you find most appropriate. The way I do that is to have familiar shapes and rhythmic cells pop up everywhere, which happens right away in two bars of the mayor. And then with Weissen a couple of bars later. And then Muto. Etc. You'll find that particular four note pattern all over the development as it's the most recognizable element of the theme, no matter what notes it contains. Meanwhile, the other singers are free to roam. By the time the development has begun, all of the music is already my own. Turn to the original when Weissen begins another exposition of the same themes. Everything happens just like at the beginning of the fugue, except Weissen is the first one. Oh, and by the way. 
Then a new development starts, etc., until I decide to go for a coda, which is just a musical term for ending, and Latin cauda for tail. <laughs> point the fugue is over and we're back at the orchestral statement of theme A followed by theme B, just now with all the orchestra in full force while the council argues away.